Okay, today we'll be taking a look at the Hitac Compact HD 5x20 digital zoom. And it's a day and night vision unit, a new kid on the block for night vision. Now the models on show here have certain features in common all recording 1080p mp4 format except the commander unit and it's uh, all day and night scopes from top to bottom we have the par 008p the par 008s the hitac compact hd 5x20 digital zoom and lastly the commander mv100 a scope add-on now generally people hate unboxings videos so I do promise to keep it as short as I can. Okay a well packaged unit. Now first up a rather cool lens wipe and it's uh, got a ITAC logo emblazoned on it. Very nice. Now at this point maybe you're thinking where's the manual, user manual. Now this being a review unit I'm re reliably told units sold will incorporate manuals in future. So in the meantime, I browsed the manual online on the ITAC website. And it's a fully in-depth instruction covering all aspects of the Compact HD. All the specs and how to use the unit. And these instruction manuals will be included in future releases. Now the ITAC Compact uses the Sony Starvis 2 sensor, clear, sharp and true colour imaging. And believe me, the day and night image quality on this unit is outstanding. Now back to the box, and we have four screws and an Allen key. We have the USB cable, the charging cable, and connecting to your PC. We have the Picatinny mount. It's finished in a rather nice matte black finish, well engineered, nice and smooth. And it's a nice low mount. And incidentally, when I fitted this mount to the Compact HD, unlike the pods I use, this unit required no shimming. Uh, air rifle and on my rim fire and center fires no shimmy which was great it's generally pods you have to shimmy so yeah screw on eye protector so maybe theoretically you could shoot this unit without the protector on low recoil rifles only i would say but yeah a screw on eye protector soft rubber and finally the unit itself the ITEC Compact HD 5x20 Digital Zoom Day and Night Score. A really nice compact unit coming in at a weight at 539 grams, and that's just over a pound, give or take. It's a nice finish on the compact. It's like a dull black finish. And we've got five soft touch rubber buttons, an onboard 850 IR light source to the side of the unit and this has five power levels on the ir unit there's also an auto ir mode and there's, that's basically black and white but the unit will adjust brightness levels without your input and it does work too now the onboard ir 850 easily adjustable from spot to flood powered by a single 18650 battery a soft rubber eyepiece now this simply screws on stops any light leak especially when using the night vision function on this unit now just the quick fitting of the mount total of four screws fits the mount that's a nice low mount 
no shimming was needed. I'm just taking a closer look at the unit. Nice raised areas on the eye and objective adjustments. Easy to operate by touch alone. Now the fitting of the lithium battery is also a lot easier uh, in the compact while the pod models the battery cap is slightly longer so there's only a slight push and screw and it goes straight on now I've fiddled ages with the parts uh, fighting the pressure of pushing in the battery here on the compact it's a lot easier does make it easier when you're changing batteries in dark Now Hitax states an 8 hour battery life uh, longer in standby mode but a lot of factors drain that power now, IR power settings etc will drain it pretty quick now, I tend to have an external IR light on the side rail or again carry many batteries and Back to the cap cover here we have the micro card slot, 32 gigabyte, 228 gigabyte cards accepted. And we've got the type C port. You can charge the battery when installed this way. I do prefer to charge my batteries with a separate charger, but the option's there if you so wish. There's also a charging indicator light situated there also. And again, the add-on rail next to the cover. I do personally like to fit an external IR light source to this rail really boost the runtime on the unit now five buttons on top of the unit soft touch multitask buttons you got your on off buttons brightness ir mode switch record button and settings button now i really like this it's the digital zoom magnification dial and it's solid positive turns and it's totally silent now it takes the base five times magnification up to 20 times in incremental steps we'll look at that more later really nice touch so that's a quick overview of the Hitac compact hd now there is an app from Hitac download for android and ios devices now from here you can update the unit's firmware even zero the unit when attached to the rifle personally i like the tried and tested manual way of zeroing now this unit like the pods has the screen pause function one shot zero and it uh, works a treat uh, but you can do this all through the app if you want to now hopefully my camcorder can pick up some of the details here now this is what you will see through the eyepiece now here we have the gyroscope for a horizontal cant uh, three reticles uh, choices and here you have the current time again a gyroscope for vertical drift this one's your current magnification your micro sd card when fitted the wi-fi indicator the microphone on off indicator and finally battery level indicator now when in night vision mode there is an extra symbol on this display showing the five ir power levels now it's my mistake in not showing that uh, but yeah an uncluttered view through the screen next up is the menu screen various functions covers everything from picture in picture view uh, auto record those shots without the need to press record on the unit so it basically knows when you've fired the shot and it auto records it clear and easy to operate menu system easy to operate from the soft touch buttons on top of the unit now if you're familiar with the pod night vision range this screen will look familiar to you 
uh, here you will zero your rifle uh, you've got one shot zero functions simply freeze your sight picture and you move the crosshairs on the X and Y plane it's really simple great for fine tuning your rifles and also here you can save a massive 26 rifle zero presets on this unit I have A, B, C and D saved for my air rifle and rim fires and sensor fire rifles so you've got plenty to save you've got plenty to go out there okay quick zero of the compact HD fitted to the air arms S510 now in between these shots I am in the menus find zero in on the X and Y plane uh, bringing that pellet bang on to my 30 yard zero and as you can see eventually pellet on pellet it's first time use on the garden and uh, as you can see clear sharp image from the compact HD really sharp bright colorful image now even when moving up in the magnification is are there any loss of detail in sight picture and you will get that with digital zones but the attack compact does a grand job Forgive my shaky footage. I'm just trying to show you the image quality. Now the colours this unit is capable of doing. Really excellent. Now it's set at five times base magnification. And some of these shots are 20 to 30 yards. And a bamboo shot. And you could pick out the spider webs and the raindrops on the leaves. I was totally blown away with the picture quality. Now in the options there is a colour boost mode again for 1080p mp4 footage it does really blow my pods out of the water to be honest for the image quality so yeah originally intended to compare the compact HD footage to my range of night vision units now looking now it's pretty unfair to include the Commander MV100 now the Commander is an add-on unit that fits your standard day scope and the quality of picture from the commander does depend on the scope you use uh, the commander excels as an add-on but doesn't really fare well against the pods and the attack compact so it is a bit unfair to include this so basically that leaves us the two pods now first up the 008p that color is nice good definition but it's not until you show the compact hd side by side the pods footage is somewhat mushy kind of blurry and it uh, looks like there's some squashing of the image to me and they're both units on base magnification I also found a pod 008 low light footage appears slightly grainier compared to the Hitak unit also night vision while good through the 008 again using the onboard IR light a slightly grainy sight picture can be seen so so far the Hitak compact HD for me is beating the pod 008p in image quality so far so that leaves the latest pod 008s up against the compact HD now the 008s I have used quite extensively on the rat shoots and it's a great piece of night vision kit now the 008s was a so-so step up from the pod 008p uh, not a big leap to be honest between units but it does have a good sight picture both of these units using their onboard IRs base magnification in most shots as well
sort of comparing the footage, for me I would say the Hittite just edges it over the Pod 008S. And like I say again, it's all subjective. They're both great units, but the image quality for me, especially low light, day footage and night footage is excellent from the Compact HD. Sound quality is even across both units, not too dull, does okay on both units. Now you're just a plinking session with the rim fire, 50 yards, and it's 10 times magnification. And it's evening low light. So, the Pod 008S, although a cracking piece of night vision kit, but the Sony Starvis 2 sensors, coupled with the ED glass of the ATAC compact unit, just pips it to the post, personally. So final thoughts. Now I like the size of the unit, it is called the compact after all, and uh, no looks or jangly bits. Um, well engineered, easy to operate, soft touch rubber buttons, and no shimming too, which is a bonus. Now, every part I have owned in the past, I needed to shim. Now the digital zoom, easy to adjust from touch alone. Now it was very rare I fumbled for the magnification dial when out in the field in total darkness. Also hardly any loss of image quality when in 20 times zoom. There is some, but that's digital zoom for you. But the attack unit does a damn good job. So, at this current time there are two models on offer. The Compact HD CP258, the model we have just looked at here. And there is the CP258R. It still has all the features of the base model, but this one has a laser rangefinder and a ballistic calculator fitted. And note the price of the attack range, significantly lower than the rivals, which is a deal breaker for me, to be honest. Now on some sites, the Pod 008S base model is, at this current time, £120 more expensive than the attack compact base model. So yeah. A no-brainer for me. Uh, attack all the way. So I will leave you with some positives and negatives of the unit. Also the Rat Pest Control Series 2 video will show the Compact HD in action. It has been a pleasure to film. Cracking little unit at a great price. Please follow the links below. Check out the attack range. And do check them out. So until next time, be safe.